Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock, and welcome along to the Canadian Grand Prix, somewhere where I have gone pretty well on previous F1 games. Anyway, we're straight into the tests. Track acclimatization, we got a 395, didn't quite get a purple on that. On to the tyre wear test though, and um, yeah. Boom! Into the Wall of Champions, or at least a mistake at the Wall of Champions, which kind of sees us um, out of P1. Just, um, yeah, kind of too much over the curb, and that was the end of P1. So, yeah. On to P2, and we did the average tyre wear test where we, um, as normal, we kind of got a low tyre wear, so um, really happy with that indeed. And then we have the. Um, Race pace, which again, we have purple. Uh, three laps, three solid laps. Like I say, I know this track pretty well. I'm pretty solid around Canada. At least I like to think I am. Uh, quality pace, massively blew that out of the park. We um, got an estimated ninth with that lap, but that actually took us up to P2 um, as well. So it's an estimated fifth, sorry, not ninth, fifth. And uh, fuel saving, yeah, again, we was in optimal. Like I say, I'm pretty good at fuel and tyre tire tests. Um, it's not very often that I don't get perfect on those. So, on to Quali. And um, this was Q1 as we come over the line right now with a 116.4, which um, was okay for the time being. Got us fourth. And um, this is our second attempt on Q1. And boom, Wall of Champions has done it once more for us, guys. Yeah, not very good at all, unfortunately. So um, that is the end of our qualifying. We didn't get out of Q1 for the second time in two races, um, but that was more of a mistake. If I hadn't had the accident, I would have got out of P1, though, because um, we did actually qualify 15th. But, um, yeah, no such luck, unfortunately, because the car is needs a bit of uh, TLC and a bit of repair. On to the laptop, and we actually completed our rivalry. So we have beaten Roman Grosjean and won the rivalry. So, um, yeah, we have completed that, our first rivalry of the season. Really happy with that. But, um, yeah, now we're going to move on to the actual race. Thinking, you know what, we're starting from the back, but I'm pretty good around here. We should have a pretty good race, but, um, yeah, it's actually raining, which I didn't expect. Anyway, on to the grid. Lewis Hamilton in first, Kimi Raikkonen will start alongside him in second. Vettel third, Bottas fourth. Ricardo fifth, Massa sixth, Verstappen seventh, Ocon eighth, Perez ninth, Grosjean tenth. Hulkenberg eleventh, Sainz twelfth, Kvyat thirteenth, Stroll fourteenth, Pahama fifteenth, Alonso sixteenth, Van Dorm seventeenth, Verline eighteenth, Marcus Ericsson nineteenth, and we're actually going to start twentieth because I did actually change the gearbox. Anyway. Let's see what Jeff's got to say about uh, now, shall we? We're performing really well so far this season. Keep this up, and you'll be the team's number one driver in no time. Thanks for that, Jeff. So, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling very hopeful about this at the moment, especially how uh, how our um, intermediate running went in Russia. Literally, I, I hit the pedal and we were spinning. I don't know what was going on there, but at least I got off the line. I do feel like I can, you know, pull away from the line at least, which is... Um, a positive thing I guess so yeah it's just a matter of making the best of a bad situation I think you'd probably say um, but I'm sure you know we'll press on and everything will be fine in the race we just like I said we need to buckle down get a good start stay out of trouble and we should be okay all right so the lights are about to go out here in Canada for round seven of the Formula One championship off the line we go and it looks like we're actually Pulling away a little bit from Ericsson, but then he does actually pull away from us. Um, think about diving up the inside. A little tiny bit of contact between us, but then I just really, I hang back. Don't want to get into too much trouble. Don't want to damage any wings. So we take the outside line where there's a pretty a little bit more grip. But um, yeah, these two Saubers in front of me are squabbling away. Don't really want to get too um, involved with them. But we dive up the inside. Little bit of contact there with their line, unfortunately. But um, nothing to see either of us off or to give any of us a penalty. We have moved up a place as... Um, am I going to try and down the inside? No, I'm not. I'm just going to sort of follow suit. Take these... Um, try and pick out my new braking points in these wet conditions. Um, moving very, very gingerly around the track. But, um, yeah. We've got away from the line, at least. We have made a place up. And um, we've kept it out of the barrier so far on lap one. So everything is going really well. And we're not exactly losing their line in front of us. 
Um, I will say Ericsson is closer to behind me than I am to their line in front of me. But um, as we come down to the slowest corner on the track, the hairpin here, I'd love to sit there in real life. You know, I'm sure it's such a great atmosphere. All the cars like tearing down, braking, turning, and then accelerating again. I bet those seats have cost quite a bit. Anyway, down the back straight now. And um, yeah, as you can see, their line's actually pulled away from us substantially here. But um, weirdly enough, we got a massive shock right here as um, people start pulling the pits. People started pulling in the pits. Now, for some reason, people were under the impression that um, intermediate tyres were the way to go for here for some reason. So, um, at the end of lap one and everybody pitting, we actually move up to P9. So, um, okay, not too bad. I'm starting to settle down a bit and um, everything uh, is looking pretty good. Following lap, even more people pitted. I, I think actually some of the same people pitted again because they realised they made a mistake. So, the people who had stayed out and didn't pit, pitted, and the people who had pitted, came back into the pits to put four wets on. So that's even better. We we move up to P4. P4. Moving on to lap six. And um, I think the call's been made to us now that um, intermediate tyres are the way to go. The track is drying out. So we're actually going to dive into the pits here. And um, so we lock up the front there, front right. And um, let's look at that again. Yeah, massively locked that up. That was absolutely terrible. But, um, yeah, as we enter the pits, we're going to put on the intermediate tyres. I mean, we've gained a pretty big advantage right now. We've been chasing down Van Dorm, who's in front of us for Honda. And, um, uh, yeah, I think we've, um, you know, been making, keeping with him, keeping pace. But I'm hoping we can find a bit more pace on these intermediate tyres. Hopefully, as we, well, we pulled right in front of that there. Hopefully, you know, we're not going to have any incidents on intermediate tyres like we did with... Um, Russia, but uh, yeah, I mean, we've got in nobody on the start finish straight, so things are still looking good. We're now on the faster tyre. I'm hoping we can make um, use of our engine here, but um, yeah, as you can see, this is lap nine. We actually set a fastest lap of the race, and we are right on the back of Van Dorn now. So yeah, things are looking really, really positive for making up another place in these wet conditions. So down to the final hairpin. We're going to try and hopefully get a good exit which we do keep it relatively tidy, try and keep far to the back of Van Dorm as we can. We've got Ericsson who's speeding behind us, but um, yeah, as we come down the back straight, put it in rich mode. Well, I'm determined we're going to make this, make this move. Head on to the inside, and um, the move is done. Break nice and early, turn in. Hopefully we're not going to you know, have another instant at the wall of champions, but we don't. And we are now on a podium position, guys. Can you believe it? We are in a podium in line for third place. This could be a really, really good points haul if we can hold out. Lap 14. And the track is drying even more. Everybody else is coming in for slick, so we do the same. So um, this is where I'm starting to get a bit worried because if the track's drying out and we're on slicks, then that means the cars behind us could be a little bit quicker than us. So um, something we need to... Um, hopefully monitor and keep an eye on but um, you know we did show good pace on the um, dry tires in qualifying and practice so um mildly confident got ahead of van dorm as well which was really really critical so there's daniel ricardo coming down the start finish straight who's going to emerge in front alongside ricardo he's still on the intermediate tires so he's going to have to come in to, again we nearly touch and um, I actually let him through. He had too much speed. Then Van Dorm actually takes the inside as well. So we've um, lost two places. We know Ricardo is going to come into the pits anyway. But um, yeah, now with all that hard work passing Van Dorm earlier on in the race, we now have to um, redo. I've got a little bit of a moment there. The track is still a little bit damp in places. So it is still a little bit tricky to drive. But um, hopefully, if we can stick with uh, Ricardo and Van Dorm here, we will. Um, be able to gain that place and hopefully nobody's going to make a, char a massive charge from behind us either. So as we come down to the hairpin, I'm thinking about going down the inside. Think against it. I'm thinking, you know what, I'm just going to try and get a good exit here. A good exit and um, put up the... Uh, we can't put up the mode because we haven't got enough fuel. But um, yeah, nice exit. We should get DRS. I think DRS has been enabled, which it has. So, um, yeah, as we go three abreast down this back straight, who's going to emerge out on top? Pass Ricardo, pass Van Dorm, and Ricardo heads into the pits, and there's a slight bit of contact there between myself and Van Dorm. Um, he kind of 
we was both trying to take the corner at the same time, but we're side by side heading down to turn one. We get the edge and turn in just nicely. So yes, we're back on our podium position with only a few laps to go, three to be fair, but um, we have got cars following us up quickly behind. So it's gonna be an interesting last three laps indeed. End of lap 16, Van Dorm, and we go wide. I think that's going to allow Van Dorm to come back at us. So, um, yeah, we're under real pressure. And Verstappen now. Verstappen has been absolutely storming, and he is on the back of us now as well. But, um, yeah, Van Dorm's got the DRS. We're going down this back straight, almost three abreast again. But I am at a total disadvantage here. Late on the brakes, late on the brakes. And, no, we've actually lost the place to both. Van Dorm and Verstappen, we are down in fifth place. We have lost down our podium position, but I'm going to attack Verstappen back into turn one. Late on the brakes, and then we are back into P4. Hopefully, now that it's dried out, we can kind of get into a bit more of a rhythm and um, take Van Dorm a little bit easier than we have been doing in the previous laps that we've been chasing him down. So moving on now, this I think this, this could be the final lap. This could be the final lap. We are right up against Van Dorn's gearbox. It's not the final lap, sorry, it's penultimate lap. So later on on lap 17, we are desperately trying to get past him to put a bit of space between us and Max. We know Max is going to be right on our heels. So down the back straight again against Van Dorn. Heading towards the final corner. We've got so much more speed. And um, he's actually given us a bit of contact there, which is, um, if we look at that again... He, he kind of like went out wide and then turned in again a little bit, I think is what happened there. But um, yeah, no, we have managed to secure the podium place going into the final lap. Verstappen, though, has got ahead of Van Dorm. This is going to be a very, very tricky final lap. We are out of fuel as well. We are like minus negative fuel, so that's not going to help us either. We're not going to be able to run rich down this back straight to try and defend against Verstappen. So it's going to be all about getting a good exit and a good drive off this hairpin as we go horribly, horribly deep. And um, kind of push Mash out wide a little bit. So we've got track position at this moment. But um, he's going to have DRS against us. Can we hold the line? We go to the inside to block him a little bit. Come back onto the racing line. Break nice and early. Nice and steady from here. We don't want to mess it up now. It's going to be a drag race to the finish. Look at him. He's catching us. He's gaining as we approach the line. Who's going to win? Who's going to come in third? It's actually us. Yes, we get our first podium. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. First podium of the season. And I think Max got a bit annoyed there at the end as he kind of gave us a little shove um, off the um, off <laughs> the end there. But uh, Carlos Sainz actually won the, the race here. Um, very mixed up, so good win for Toro Rosso, and um, Palmer is on the uh, podium in second place as well. was actually catching him in the wet conditions, but we still just couldn't quite make it enough to um, make a difference. Anyway, let's look at the standings um, overall. Um, Kimi Raikkonen still leads the championship by 33 points from Lewis Hamilton. We have actually moved up to P9 with that. We now sit on 26 points. Looking at the constructors, we have stayed 7th with Toro Rosso and Renault both moving um, up ahead of Williams. So, um, yeah, the, the little guys have really come through today indeed. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the race. As always, I'll be back real soon with the next run as we head over to Azerbaijan. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.